My name is Monica Nigoy, and I'm a, presently an international consultant and an independent scholar in mathematics. Um, my love for mathematics began on the beaches of Saipan when I was five years old uh, in Asia, working math problems on the beach with my father. Then I was educated in the elementary school system in Vietnam. Then I went to French schools until grade K, so I have an Asian-French background on the philosophy of mathematics. And then my first American introduction to mathematics was at Georgetown University as a student. So it opened up two cultures, and I feel like I've benefited from really three cultures in mathematics. Um, my teaching career began as a professor at the University of Georgetown University in the mathematics department. And here we had top students in mathematics, and yet when you asked them questions about the whys and the history and the origins of math, there wasn't much interest. It was about get the right answer, tell me how to do it fast. So I felt like there was something lacking in why they didn't enjoy mathematics. So I wrote an article in the newspaper of the university, and out of that article came, would you like to found programs with teachers? So I began working with teachers, parallel to working with, with students at the university, doing programs of outreach, starting in the D.C., Virginia, Maryland area, and then they became national programs. So then I started working with teachers, I began, of course, at the high school level, then at the middle school level, and over the last 10, 15 years, there's been such a need for the elementary level, so I'm doing work with elementary. So I really work with K-16 teachers. All of my efforts, whether teaching at the university, whether doing videos for discovery education, whether a national program director at the National Science Foundation, or whether an independent consultant working in schools abroad in the States, in Asia, in Africa, I go into many classrooms, public, private, and independent. All my efforts have one goal, to infuse, and I'm going to quote a, a colleague from Nova Scotia, who did her doctorate with me at the University of Maryland, and she said, you infect, inject, and infuse people with a fascination for mathematics. Because I believe that we're in a culture that most adults who've gone through school admit almost without problem that they either dislike or are not competent in mathematics. And we've heard this before, right? We won't say that we're not good at writing or reading. That looks illiterate, but we will admit that we're not good in math and can't compute, and that means we're innumerate. So all my efforts, as I say, writing, video, giving keynotes, I want to turn that around. What's lacking is that we don't reveal to them at any grade level, it doesn't have to be later, the beauty of mathematics. Mathematics is a treasure that has been passed down to us from four millennia of mathematical thinkers, female and male. It's a treasure, but it's not viewed that way. Among the different areas of interest and research, work, writing, videos, is algebra. Why? Because in our culture, for a long time now, and you know the pendulum swings about what mathematics is and what's important, but in the 21st century, Algebra has been coined as a gateway course. A gateway, sadly enough, through which not enough children of color and females pass through. So one of my talks and, and go goals is changing that narrow gate into a highway for all. How do we do that? Or no, wh why has it been problematic for so long? One reason, and this we know this from last 10, 15 years of research on the early algebra movement, is it's been observed that traditionally algebra was introduced late, sort of middle school, high school, abruptly, so it's so suddenly different from all the mathematics that precedes it, and in a way that's unrelated to the lives of the children. And the fourth, it's only been introduced at the symbolic form. X, Y, Z. So suddenly, the world that children are used to, numbers, computation, geometry, is disconnected from algebra. So they don't relate it to it, they don't understand it, <clears throat> and that's usually the beginning of the falling out of love with math, if it's continued 
up to eight, grade eight. <clears throat> so what do we do in early algebra movement? What, what my books are doing? Planting the seeds of algebra early. So what does that mean? Does that mean teaching high school algebra early? No. It means planting the seeds of the types of habits of mind which are finding the general in the particular, looking for structure, being a problem solver. In short, what does it mean to think mathematically? Because algebra is really the introduction to the mathematical deep thinking. But we can start with the young children, and I'll wrap back around to the beginning, because children are capable of very sophisticated mathematical thinking.